Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'll be walking you through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how you can turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some more revenue for your business month over month. Now to do that, we first have to understand how are people finding roofing businesses in your area? And if you're like me and many others, chances are you go on Google, go to this upper search bar, type in whatever service or industry you're looking for, along with your city name. And after doing that and submitting your search, you're gonna scroll down to the first few results down below, or you'll go back up to this Google map pack here. Now, whichever one you do, it doesn't really matter, but it seems to be a pretty popular option. As you'll notice, there are about 40 to 50 searches a month for roofing in Navarre, Florida, but those numbers skyrocket when you start talking about other searches like roofing companies, roofing near me, and a variety of other variations of this search term. But for the sake of time in this video, we're just gonna focus on this one. However, the goal of this video remains the same for all, all searches, and that is to put your business at the forefront of those searches so we can guarantee that at least 50 people every single month see our business first before looking for another company. In order to do that though, there is a few different things that we'll need to do first. So first off, we're gonna go to your competitor, take a look at what they're doing as far as content goes to rank on the first page, and then we'll go back to your website and see how you stack up. So here we have Destin Roofing, which ranks on the first page organically for roofing in Navarre, Florida. And the goal of our website is to do the same. And what we're gonna notice about their site is that they have a ton of content on this page. And that's really what we want to do because content gives users something to engage with and ultimately promotes a positive user experience, which is what Google is looking for when they are looking to promote a website onto the first page. So we're gonna want a ton of content. Normally I like to recommend about 750 to 1000 words um, per page, but feel free to go above that if you would like. But that's just the bare minimum of what I recommend. But now if we dove even further into their content or the details of their content, we'd also notice that they have tons of industry specific keywords. Now keywords are the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on these keywords, we're going to tell Google vital information about our business, such as what we do, maybe where we operate from, and ultimately who we are as a company. So very important that our website is not only content full, but that we have keywords to really back that content. So let's take a look at your website and see if it follows that pattern. So now here we are on your website and right off the bat, you know, you don't really have a lot of content. Um, so we're going to want to build out that content because like I said, that's a very important aspect of what Google's looking for because the more content you have, the more we give users to something to engage with and the better user experience we are promoting. So like I said, very content full site, 750 to 1000 words bare minimum. And then we're also going to need those industry specific keywords. So we're going to want keywords like roofing, um, construction, Navarre, Florida, all these different things that tell Google the exact information that we want them to know about our business. However, that's only going to be the first half of everything in the internal side of things, which is going to lay the foundation for our website. But we also have the external side of things, which is our backlinking and our citations. Now, to give you an idea, our, in, our internal side is going to lay the foundation. Our external side is going to help us climb over our competitors and really give our website that big push that we need. So let's take a look at your competitor's backlink structure, and then we'll go back and compare that to your websites. So now here we are looking at your competitor and a tool I have called Ahrefs, and they have about roughly 300 backlinks built to their site. It's generating them some decent power and roughly bring in about 140 users every single month. Now those 140 users are a direct result of the things that they're doing internally, such as content and keywords, as well as the things that they're doing externally as far as backlinking goes. So just like before, how we always wanna go bigger and better than our competition, the same applies for backlinking, where if they have 300 backlinks, we're gonna want 600 backlinks, maybe even upwards of 900 backlinks on top of our content and keywords to really push our margins here. Because if we do that, there's no reason as to why we shouldn't be able to see at least 140 users to our website every single month. Now let's take a look at your backlink structure and see how you stack up. So now here we are taking a look at your website and you'll see that you have eight backlinks built to your site, which is not a bad start and you're generating some decent power, but ultimately you're only bringing in about one organic user every single month. So we wanna expand on that with our content, our keywords, but also our backlinks. And if we do all that, like I said, we should start to be able to see a very positive movement in the traffic we're generating. And we'll be able to really give our website the resources it needs to be that 24 seven salesperson that we need for our business to bring in that revenue. But now there was one more thing in this video that I had mentioned and that was citations. So let's go over to the Google map pack and talk about citations and how they tie into everything here. So now here we are in Google and we're looking at the Google map pack. Now the Google map pack looks for a variety of different things when they're looking to rank their companies. 
one of the most important being citations. Now, citations are all the different places our business's name and address and phone number are going to be listed online. Some popular citations are things like Yelp, Facebook, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Yellow Book. All those are citations you can get for your business, and they all help with the Google Map Pack. Now, I see your company is ranking in at number three, but at number one, we have 72 citations, and at number two, we have 56. So if we want to go above and beyond our competition and take that number one spot, we're going to need 144 citations on top of our backlinks, on top of our content, and on top of our keywords. And if you do all that, like I said, you should start to see a very positive movement in the amount of traffic you're generating, but more so the amount of revenue that your website is bringing back for you month over month. Now, that's all I really have for you in this video, but I will leave you with one question, and that question is, what could an extra 50 customers a month do for your business? Once again, my name is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads. I hope this video was very educational, and thank you for watching.